What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregos TV Rewind. This is where we go back a week and talk about all the tech news in one single week for you. And this week was all about the Galaxy Note 10 beta. We had tons of information on that. When it's released, is it being delayed? All of that kind of stuff. We also talked about the fingerprint update. You know, there was a vulnerability uh, with the fingerprint for the S10 and the Note 10. There was a fix that got pushed out. So we talk about that. There's also information on RCS, which is the uh, iMessage for Android. So we have all kinds of news this week. Make sure you check it out and let us know in the comments down below what your favorite story is of the week. I'll see you in the next one. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day and only story of the day is about the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 One UI 2.0 beta aka Android 10. You might wonder when this is going to come to that phone. Now it's already out for the Galaxy S10 line of phones uh, in a lot of part of the world at this point. So if you have that phone Jump into uh, the Samsung Members app on your phone and then you should see a message on there to join the beta and then you'll end up going into your software updates to, after you join the beta, you'll end up going to your software updates to download it. But regardless, you might, again, when, when's it gonna come out for the Note 10? It looks like per a chat, uh, this is coming from Sam Mobile, per a chat that they were in, it looks like it's going with Samsung, it looks like it's gonna come out uh, on October 24th. Now. Today, at the time of making this video, it's the 21st, so you're looking at Thursday, which to me, not that bad at this point. It's only a few days away. There was rumors that it was gonna come out October 21st. Obviously, it's not out at this point, so it probably will be October 24th, which again, not that bad of when this will be released. And uh, you'll do the same steps when and if this gets released then or any time in the future. Go into the Samsung Members app on your phone, and then again, you should see a message on there to join the beta. Once you join it, go into your software updates and download that update. Let's get into the tech news. We only have one story today. This one's kind of slow in the tech world with just like random news popping out. Uh, this one, again, is about the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 beta for their Android One UI 2.0 slash Android 10. And this screenshot comes from Ice Universe, showing officially from Samsung, Galaxy Note 10 5G, Note 10 Plus 5G, One UI 2 coming soon. And I ran through some translations on this and it basically says exactly what you would expect it to say. And remember this is translated, so some of it might not make sense, but Note 10 5G, Note 10 5G, Android 10 experience, the new Galaxy interface. First, to provide the most stable version, this is what's at the very bottom, to provide the most stable version available, please wait a little while. Um, it also says beta open date, doesn't say specific date, but beta open date, join the One UI beta program related Samsung members home banner and notice. And then lastly, uh, telecom subscribers and self-propelled phone users. I'm assuming that's people that bought the phone through the, the telecom and also unlocked versions. Now the information we got yesterday is that it's gonna come out October 24th, which is Thursday of this week. So if, and we'll see if that ends up holding to be true, but it looks like it's very, very close at the, at the very least, just because this is being posted on Samsung's official website. And again, if you're gonna ask me, I know some of you will anyway, if you want to download the beta and even check on it, if it's there, what you want to do is grab your Galaxy phone, swipe up, find your Samsung Members app. It'll just say Samsung Members. Tap on that. And then on this page somewhere, you should see if it's there. It's not there yet. At the time of making this video, you should say something about the beta, join the beta. If you don't see it anywhere on this page, you can also hit this little bell icon in the top, right? And you have messages and notifications. Check those as well. And again, if you have it, it should be up there somewhere. Let's get into the tech news. If you have a Pixel 4 or Pixel 4 XL, something has just been discovered and it has to do with the 90 hertz display. Now this tweet comes from uh, Michelle Rahman who works at XDA Developers. And he said, holy crap, Google Pixel 4 changes between 60 hertz and 90 hertz based on screen brightness. He said, I tested using ADB and LogCat if the, if the brightness is below 75%, the display equals two, which means 60. So I'll read that again. If brightness is below 75%, then the display goes down to 60 Hertz. But if the brightness is over 75%, it'll run at 90 Hertz. So again, what he means is if your brightness is, you know, like say it, I don't know what, that looks like it's at about 40%. When you use the phone, it's going to be, 
you know, not running at 90 hertz, I'd be running at 60 hertz, a slower refresh rate, which would match what you get the refresh rate on uh, like a Note 10, for instance. Uh, but if it's at, you know, 85% or whatever, 75 or above, then you're gonna be able to run this display, you know, as fast as you want uh, at 90 hertz without it having to dip down. But I, I did put out a video today, if you have not seen, that will walk you through how to run this at 90 hertz, no matter what you're doing all day long. And it's super simple. I'll link that video down below. But yeah, just something to keep in mind if you do have a Pixel phone or a Pixel 4 4 XL. And the last story of the day is about the Samsung Galaxy Note. 10 and the beta Android One UI 2.0 for this phone. Now, if you remember, T-Mobile, and I believe it was Sprint, uh, got the S10 version of the beta and the unlocked version either happened or hasn't happened at this point. Well, it looks like it's gonna be even less phones for the Note 10 that get it for that phone. So it looks like coming off of this uh, post on their community page, you can see Galaxy Note 10, Note 10 Plus, One UI 2 beta with Android 10 coming soon. Experience the new One UI with Android 10 first on your Galaxy Note 10, Note 10 Plus. And you can see the target. Cus uh, consumers are using Note 10, Note 10 Plus on Samsung unlocked device. You do not see any carriers in there. Also refer to Samsung banners regarding One UI 2.0 beta with Android 10 on the beta opening date. So two things, all rumors still point to tomorrow, October 24th being the actual release date for this beta for the Note 10 phone. And then obviously the second thing, the unlocked version looks to be the only phone, at least initially, getting that beta. Looks like if the carrier versions do get it, they'll probably be later. Um, I guess last year they did the same thing as well with the Note 9, so it looks like they're gonna do again the same thing with the Note 10 version of this phone. Galaxy Note 10 beta, not out yet, I checked. We'll see, maybe it'll come out later today. It's supposed to, at least per rumors, come out today. Again, we'll see if it does. If it does, I'll put out a video, but right now it's not out. If you wanna check though, again, if you're not sure how to do it, go into the Samsung Members app and it basically should have a little headline on here somewhere saying uh, that the uh, beta is available. Also check the bell at the top right and see if it's there. Next up, Google did some really cool stuff for their users over in the UK. They put out this tweet saying, Fancy a Google Pixel 4 for breakfast? 2,000 lucky members of Team Pixel who have pre-ordered the new Pixel 4 are receiving their phones today in a limited edition and made by Google cereal box. Check out now. And this is ends up what it looks like. This is from 9 to 5. Google, the cereal box says, Google Pixel 4, free inside, unlimited online storage with Google Photos. It's, I mean, I would be pretty stoked if I got this. I don't know what I would do with the box, but it'd be a cool little presentation. I don't know why companies don't do more of this. And you see the Pixel 4 XL and then also a little bit of cereal on this other side of that. And again, it's just an interesting way. It creates hype. Do more of this, guys. Per Google's official blog where they talk about Android, they went on to say, and this is from a bunch of companies, but specifically, I know you guys would be wondering about Samsung. Samsung is due to release, release Android 10 on at least one or some of their phones by the end of 2019. So that would mean potentially the S10, the Note 10 could get in the, the, the full official release, not the beta of Android 10. Now last year, it looks like the S9 got uh, Android 10 uh, right around Christmas time. So if it happens the same way, you're probably looking at the S10 getting it first uh, sometime in December. And then I would I would expect either the Note 10 at, like towards the very, very end of the year or probably more likely into early 2020. And the last story of the day, if you remember, people that had S10s and Note 10s, if you put uh, like a specific cover over the phone, they could unlock your phone with their fingerprint, even though their fingerprint wasn't officially um, set up with your phone. Well, the fix has been pushed out and this is what it looks like. This is from a user, I found this on Reddit, who said he has an unlocked version of the Note 10 and he's on 
a T-Mobile SIM. And this is what the little uh, photo says. Performance and security have been approved. This is a software patch related to fingerprint recognition. One about this issue. If you've used a screen cover such as a silicone cover with a textured surface on the inside, the texture inside may be recognized as a fingerprint that can unlock your phone. Number two, update instructions. All users should tap update below, then restart the phone once the update is registered. Additionally, if you've registered or scanned your fingerprint with a screen cover on your phone, remove all of your fingerprints and register them again without using a screen cover. Three, make sure that there's no screen cover when you register a fingerprint, even though they just said that right above. You may not be able to register or scan your fingerprints if you use a screen cover. We recommend that you don't use a screen cover, especially any screen cover with a textured surface on the inside when registering scan your fingerprint in its entirety including all corners contact samsung customer support if you have any questions and the update is very small 7.1 megs and if you didn't hear it in the first five times don't register your fingerprint again with a screen cover let's get into the tech news first story of the day is all four major carriers here in the united states have agreed upon RCS messaging for Android. And what that is, think of that kind of as like iMessage for Android, uh, where you'll be able to send high quality videos and photos and hang out with your favorite brands more easily inside of messaging. And uh, if that sounds great to you, it's kind of great, but kind of not. Because, because of the fact that it sounds like, first of all, there's gonna be a separate app that you'll need to download in order to do this, you know, this special messaging uh, with your other friends in, on, the, on the other carriers. So that's one hiccup that's gonna happen, uh, is the separate app. The other is it sounds like it's gonna be based more off the carriers making money off you by either you're putting ads in this, in this app for you to see or um, things for you to sign up for. Um, it does not look good. This is, uh, Google's no way involved in this at all. Google was trying to do this on their own, but I guess they need the carrier's help here in the US and they're not really getting it. Carriers are now gonna do it on their own and try to make money off of you. This starts in 2020. Again, I do not have high hopes for it. Hopefully you don't either. And hopefully Google creates their own iMessaging type app so that we can all just bypass this and be done with it. Remember the Google Pixel 4 and 4 XL? It doesn't have 4K 60 video recording on the front or the back cameras especially. Well, it looks like it was on the back camera at one time. This tweet comes from uh, Michelle Rahman from XDA Developers. It says, oh boy, this one will stir some controversy. Google had enabled 4K 60 video recording for the Pixel 4, but pulled it just before released. Now, if I had to guess why they took it away, it's probably because the storage amounts on this phone are not that amazing. 64 and 128. 128 is probably perfectly fine, but unfortunately, they, that's probably why they took it out, unless it just looked awful, which I can't imagine it would. Um, so hopefully it's an update they can put back. I know in the past, uh, the phones had 1080, this is years ago, had 1080, 30, but they didn't have 1080, 60. They pushed out an update and then it had it. So hopefully they'll do the same for this phone as well. Next up, when you get Android 10, One UI 2.0 beta on your Galaxy Note 10 and S10, you're gonna have a new feature with the front camera. You can see right here, that's right, One UI 2.0 feature focus now takes slow motion selfie videos. So if you've been dying to take slow motion selfie videos, you're now gonna be able to once you get this update. Um, it's already out if you have this uh, One UI 2.0 beta, so check it. Um, and if you don't, you'll be able to get it when it officially comes out. And the last story of the day is about the Galaxy Note 10 beta for the One UI 2.0 slash Android 10. It is officially out kinda, at least in Germany right this second. So if you're in Germany, you can download it, but it should be hitting the US and South Korea later today if you don't already have it. So what you wanna do, this isn't the, the phone, but what you're gonna do is just swipe up, look for the Samsung members app. I mention this all the time, and you should see a banner. If you don't see a banner, there's a little bell icon in the top right, tap that bell icon and you should see a message on there to get it. Once you tap it and agree to everything, then you'll go into your software updates. So go to settings uh, on your phone and then go into uh, uh, software updates and you should see it there and download it, install it, and you should be good to go with your Note 10, Note 10 Plus. This should initially only be for the unlocked versions of the phone, at least here in the United States. A parental guidance warning. My white arms might blind you. Enjoy the video.
What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story and only story of the day is about the Galaxy Note 10 One UI 2.0 Beta Android 10. And uh, it was supposed to come out at least, and it kind of did on Friday, which was October 25th. It did come out in Germany and it was also supposed to launch in South Korea and the USA as well, but it looks like it is delayed. This story is coming from Sam Mobile Galaxy Note 10 One UI 2.0 beta release has been delayed. It doesn't go into full detail as to why they delayed it. It must be some kind of bug or something that's not working fully with the phone, um, but we're gonna have to wait at this point. It's probably gonna fall into next week. I think the, the, if I remember correctly at this point, because there's so much news and stuff with the, S, with the One UI 2.0 beta, the S10 got delayed as well. So this one will probably be delayed. I wouldn't expect this to be delayed weeks and weeks and weeks. It's probably gonna be delayed until next week at this point. Um, so and that's right around the corner, so you shouldn't have to wait too long if you've been waiting for it. And remember, it's only gonna be for the unlocked phone anyway. So if you don't have the unlocked phone, you, you're probably not gonna get it or you're gonna have to wait even longer to get it. So uh, yeah, not a huge deal. You still have one UI in phone, it's just the 1.0 version or 1.1, whatever version they're on at this point. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about the Galaxy S11. This tweet comes from Ice Universe. The appearance and configuration of the Galaxy S11 has been basically determined and the leak will begin. There you go. A leak of a leak. It started. <laughs> Not much information. He's basically just saying um, that we're going to start getting information about the Galaxy S11. We kind of already have about this phone, you know, stuff that rumors are starting to trickle out, trickle out. So we should be getting more than that, more of that over this period of time from now until whatever, February or March when this phone is released. It should have a much better camera. That's one of the big things I think they're gonna that really sell on this phone. I thought the cameras have been bad in the last couple of phones, but the camera's supposed to be mega improved. 64 megapixel sensor on the back there. You should probably see 4K 60 on the front camera because uh, they only have 4k 30 on the front at this present time they have 4k 60 in the back though probably also see maybe a bigger screen who knows um, maybe uh, maybe an s pen that's one of the rumors that's been going around that they're going to kind of merge the s lines and the note lines. so we'll see what happens obviously stuff's going to start coming out anyway just because of the time it's le it is leading up to the release of this phone we're only at this point about five months away from that and the last story of the day is about Android RCS, which is basically Android iMessages. It's not directly iMessages, but it's like kind of like the competitor to iMessage for Android phones. And it looks like uh, we talked about a story where the carriers were gonna do it between each other. You'd have to download a separate app and there might be ads involved and all that. Well, it looks like Google slash Android has officially turned it on through the Google uh, Android Messages app already secretly now the instructions are super simple to follow i actually did it on mine but i have no one to, to test it out with but it's really simple all you're going to do so the first thing you want to do is turn off your wi-fi then what you want to do is go over to the google messages app i'll put the link down below and when you're looking at that app there's going to be a uh, link in there to uh, join the beta so if you join the beta you definitely want to do that then what you want to do is you want to check for app updates because you want to uh, update your app so that it is now in beta version. I had to wait 15 minutes for mine to show up, but once you get that, make sure you update your Google Messages app. Then what you want to do is restart your phone. Next, what you want to do is you want to head over to the Google Play Store again and install the Activity Launcher app. Then you want to open it. You want to tap the top menu and choose All Activities. Then you find messages and you want to set RCS flags and tap it. And then you're going to see our ACS URL. So you want to tap that and you want to choose the one that looks like just like this one on the screen. It's a, it should be the bottom one for you. There should be three. It should be the third one. Then in your OTP pattern, uh, you want to choose your messages, just like the one you see right there, which it should be the only one to choose anyway. Tap apply at the bottom. Then you want to close all your apps. Open your messages app and you should see a screenshot of what I have right here where it says to upgrade now. Then you just tap upgrade now and follow the instructions. Message will now enroll your phone. It could take several minutes and it's confirmed to work.
Like I said, I did it last night. I don't have any uh, person to try it out with, but uh, yeah, try it out with your family and friends. Uh, I could try it out with my wife and stuff. I just I did it late last night, but uh, so I'll, I'll definitely try it out with her. But yeah, very easy to turn on, very easy to get going. It might not work forever in terms of RCS, Google might disable it. Maybe they'll turn it on completely and make it a lot easier for people to do it. But anyways, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. Your question of the day is, are you excited for RCS uh, as it officially comes out? Is it something you're looking forward to? The, the iPhone for Android messages. Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you down the road.